You may have heard the term blockchain when people talk about the digital currency Bitcoin. So what is the blockchain and why does it matter? The best way to understand how blockchain technology works is to think about something you probably remember from high school, and that is the library book. These days, most libraries use scanners and computers to keep track of your books. But just a few years ago, it was a pretty common thing to see this, a due date card in your library book. Every time someone checked out the book, it was recorded with the borrower's name and the due date added to the slip. The blockchain pretty much does the same thing, but instead of borrowers and due dates, it records Bitcoin transactions and when they occurred. And instead of a physical card, the blockchain exists on the internet. It's a ledger in the cloud, open source, decentralized, and totally public. Because it's public, you can actually see the blockchain in action by going to the website blockchain.info, which is a blockchain explorer. You'll see that every second, someone, somewhere, is sending someone else value in the form of Bitcoin. The transactions you see there are added in bundles, and those are called blocks. That's all done by people called miners. And those miners receive a tiny fee in Bitcoin as an incentive to keep mining. Miners use large, expensive computers to find and mine the blocks. All of that is the Bitcoin blockchain. But here's where it gets exciting. The blockchain technology, separate from Bitcoin, has caught the eye lately of the mainstream economy, particularly big banks and financial services. And some of the world's largest banks are looking into blockchain tech. 45 of them, in fact, have signed onto a blockchain consortium called R3. Banks use computer systems that were originally developed decades ago, and so it takes them hours and sometimes days to process your transaction. But if they switch to a private blockchain, those transactions can be processed in a matter of seconds without the usual delay. And blockchain can be used to store and send anything of value. Some tech-savvy folks are even using it to store documents like property deeds and marriage licenses. So it remains to be seen what will happen to Bitcoin, the currency. But the technology behind it, that could be the real revolutionary product for the economy.